Welcome to this video lecture on the subject transmission lines and antennas. So we are going to see the topic antenna fundamentals. So let's see the antenna background. So the first initially Maxwell derived the fundamental equations for the electromagnetic wave propagation which is uh, essential for antennas and Hetz derived uh, experimented first aerial propagation based on the Maxwell's theory. And then Marconi, he uh, first of all experimented the transatlantic transmission where he uh, transmitted the signal and then received uh, uh, the signal. So this is the basic for antennas. So what is an antenna? An antenna is a way of converting a guided waves present in the waveguide a transmission line into an radiating waves which is traveling in free space or vice versa. So basically it converts an electrical signal coming from the line to the uh, free space as the electromagnetic wave radiation. So antenna is a passive structure that serves as the transition between the transmission line and air used to, to transmit or receive the electromagnetic waves. So it serves the both the purposes. So it converts electrons to photons of electromagnetic energy. So it can acts as a transducer which interfaces a circuit and free space. So this is the function of an antenna. So let's see the basic uh, diagram of the transmitting antenna and receiving antenna where we have a transmitter and it is connected to a transmission line. So the signal is guided DEM wave. It is uh, guided through the transmission line and we have a transition region which is an antenna. So it radiates the waves to the free space. So this acts as a transition region between the transmission line and free space. The free space wave is radiated in three dimensions. So only accelerated charges radiate the electromagnetic waves. A current with a time harmonic variation satisfies this requirement to act as an uh, antenna. So here the uh, tra wave is transmitted as a plane waves in the free space and it, at the receiving side it is received by the antenna structure which acts as the transition region and it is again converted to electrical signal and guided wave is travelled to the transmission line at it, and it is given to the receiver. So this is the basic function of a transmitter and receiver antenna. So the role of antennas, so antennas serve four primary functions, first one is spatial filter, so directionally dependent on sensitivity and polarization filter and impedance transformer which is transition between free space and transmission line and propagation mode adapter from free space fields to guided ways, example transmission line and waveguides. So these are the types of antenna where the important uh, are dipole antennas, uh, slot antennas, aperture antennas. So where we have parabolic reflectors and also we have folded dipoles, log periodic antennas. So these are the various types of antennas. And what is an isotropic antenna? So it is an hypothetic antenna which does not exist practically. It is used for measuring the real antenna characteristics. So it is a point source that occupies a negligible space. There is no directional preferences. So pattern is simply a sphere. So it has a beam area of 4 pi stradians. It is measured in stradians as given in this equation. So isotropic radiator is a hypothetical lossless antenna having equal radiation in all the directions and omnidirectional radiator. So the antenna having an essentially non-directional pattern in a given plane and a directional pattern in any orthogonal planes. And what is directional radiator? So antenna having the property of radiating effectively in some direction. So this is the directional antenna. Usually the maximum directivity is greater than the halfway dipole. So this is the radiation pattern of isotropic and omnidirectional antennas. So spherical coordinates is used for uh, calculating the radiation pattern and the efficiency of antennas. And solid angle. So one steridian is solid angle with its vertex at the center of a sphere of radius which is subtended by a spherical surface of area R squared. So this uh, solid angle is used for the radiation pattern characteristics. 
so radiation intensity so radiation intensity in a given direction is the power per unit solid angle radiated in this direction by an antenna so it is given by r squared into pr so radiation pattern so radiation pattern is an important parameter it is a three dimensional graphical representation of the far field radiation properties of an antenna as a function of space coordinates the far field region is a region far enough for the radiation pattern so the radiation pattern can be measured by the experiment or can be calculated the field pattern and power pattern are used in this and the radiation pattern characteristics has 3 db bandwidth or half power bandwidth and side lobes nulls front to back ratio gain maximum signal position so these are the important characteristics in radiation pattern so radiation pat uh, antenna pattern parameters are uh, half power beam width is given in this diagram where a uh, half power points are measured so the angle is taken between the half power points and major lobe main lobe is the maximum radiation pattern back lobe is opposite to main lobe and other lobes are called as minor lobes also in this first null beam width is given it is the angle between the uh, nulls measured so two nulls are taken and the angle between the two nulls are measured so in this main lobe or major lobe gives the maximum radiation direction and back lobe is the minimum radiation and the side lobes are adjacent to the main lobes so this uh, parameters are used for calculating the directivity and radiation pattern and let's take the assessment so first question is units of radiation intensity is here the answer is uh, watts per unit solid angle and the radiation lobe containing the direction of maximum radiation is called as so maximum radiation means it is major lobe so the answer is d so thank you for listening